What's going on YouTube? It's your boy that singer reactions coming to y'all. This is some guy named Samson. Um, a lot of people have been telling me about Samson. Um, and this is something that he released nine days ago. It's called Price Hike. Um, so I'm assuming this is going to involve politics. I see a quote right here by Joe Biden. I don't know what we're going to... Price hike. They might be talking about inflation. If it's called price hike. Right here, there's a... He, he, we are growing the economy from the middle out and bottom up. Lowering costs for hardworking families and making smart investments in America. No, the hell y'all are not. Stop lying, Joe Biden. No. Did he 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 said this though. Well, yeah, he probably said this. Um, my brother did it right here. Cliff did it. I think I seen BP thumbnail somewhere. Hmm. Oh, yep, BP right here. That's my brother. Uh, Mr. Lo Mr. B Lloyd is there. Growth, my brothers did it. So this must be a popping video or something. So I'm about to check it out, see what's going on with it. I've already got an idea where it's about to go. So, um, but I'm interested in hearing. Don't forget my Patreon is in the description where you get exclusive access, early content, special requests. PayPal and Cash App is in the description if you want to request a song um, or give me a nudge if you've been waiting for one or whatever the case is. Also, I have a second YouTube channel called Hear Me Out. I have a Discord, join the family in the description. And I have a um, Twitch so make sure you y'all join it for live requests. Here we go. Samson Price. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, yet I'm still backpacking. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I'm in the same tax bracket. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I mean it too. I just say that to say that I'm still down here in the real world, feeling everything with you, and I'm fucking pissed. I got a big bone to pick with all these- He shot this on like a iPhone 13 or something. I respect it though. The real world feeling everything with you and I'm fucking pissed. I got a big bone to pick with all these motherfucking activists. All these rappers and actors and notable figures that act like they know how bad this shit is. I love being lectured and ridiculed about the fact that I don't have an electric vehicle. Tweeting about climate change from your private plane while I pay a Norman leg to get some fuel. Thank God my car doesn't take premium. I'd have to get a second job just to break even. Then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean. He's spitting facts. I don't hear nothing bad right now. Doesn't take premium. I'd have to get a second job just to break it. I think when people like him rap, like I don't take his rapping serious. Like I don't like. I feel like he trying. He look like he, he first of all he look crazy right here. But he look like he got some. St he just he look tired. Like you know what? I'm done. Let me just say something. And he rap. He don't like. Maybe he has some other stuff that's like super cold. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, when you going in like this, I don't expect you to have like crazy bars. You know what I'm saying? Usually is what I look for is when you got like bar. But when you just kind of coming off just saying with how you feel, he looked like he just fed up with with the price of how everything is going up and what we got to pay for. And that is all facts. I mean, if Joe Biden did say that quote, he has not done a damn thing in terms of that. Have an electric vehicle tweeting about climate change from your private plane while I pay a Norman leg to get some fuel. Thank God my car doesn't take premium. I'd have to get a second job just to break even. Then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down two. And I'm supposed to be happy and act like I'm proud of you. And to add the injury, I got Kamala. What happened? And brought it down two. And I'm supposed to premium. I'd have to get a second job just to break even. Then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down two. And I'm supposed to be happy and act like I'm proud of you. And to add the injury, I got. Kamala telling me I need to go electric and I have to act quick. And all you come at Kamala Harris? And to add the injury, I got Kamala telling me I need to go electric and I have to act quick. And all it's gonna cost me is fifty thousand dollars. Well, guess what? I don't have that, bitch. And even if I did, I would buy a big truck just to rub it in your face because I don't give a fuck. I would put a big smokestack on the top of it and blow black smoke every time I open throttle it. And it's not because I hate the climate; it's because I don't trust you or the things you wish me to do. I would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the Flintstones before I listen to you. I hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about. That was nice. 
Start running like the Flintstones before I listen to you. I hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about it because they don't like to get political. I cannot afford supplies. You know what? Get political if y'all need to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, get political. What I don't like is the people who say that they are not. If you are a, a liberal or a conservative, own it. Don't pretend like you are not neither. And then you hear somebody sound like that they are strictly conservative or strictly liberal. I can't stand that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you do have conservative views, that's okay. Just say that that's what you are. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I hear that in music where you hear somebody say that they both sides. I got a problem with both sides. But then you hear a more conservative view. I'm like, can you point out what you don't like? Like, I want to challenge a certain conservative um, like rapper to talk about what you don't like. I get what you don't like about the liberals. Talk about what you don't like about the conservatives. If you actually don't like fuck with both sides. That's kind of how I look at it. Hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about it because they don't like to get political. I cannot afford supply shortages and high mortgages. It's not politics. All this shit is literal. That's money draining out of your bank account to make it work. To the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying insane amounts, taking out of your savings. They promised that they were going to save you. How? They made it worse. We should be oh, able to wait a get political. I cannot afford supply shortages and high mortgages. It's not politics. Back. All this shit is literal. That's money draining out of your bank account to make it work. To the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying insane yeah. amounts. Taken out of your savings, they promised that they were gonna save you. How they made it worse. We should be a flourishing nation, not a country with soaring inflation. There's nothing more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration. Like, what it just happened like that? Nothing to do with your administration. You blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike, but shit was going up way before the invasion. Now, how does that work? Really, I'm what happened and called it his price hike, but shit was going up way before the invasion. Administration, you blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike, but shit was going up way before the invasion. Now, how does that wait? Biden blamed it on Putin, or is we talking about work? Really, I'm I like the fact check stuff because I'm gonna see if he's right. His price hike, but shit was going up way before the invasion. Now, how does that work? Really, I'm baffled. Sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole. Next thing I know, I'm gonna turn on CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled. Wouldn't put it past them. Crooked little rats so easily. They'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled. Wouldn't put it past them. Crooked little rats so. Why he sound like he taking up for that guy, Putin? We don't like him. We don't rock with him. Putin garbage. We don't rock with that dude. CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time. We the USA, right? A stupid blind asshole. Next thing I know, I'm gonna. I don't care if that's Trump's best friend. We don't fuck with him. Work. Really, I'm baffled. Sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole. Next thing I know, I'm gonna turn on CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled. Basically, I think he just means that he'll turn on CNN and they'll try to find um somebody to blame besides the actual administration on what's going on. And put it past them, crooked little rats, so easily and spineless, always looking for a snack, searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash when the views that you have and theirs aren't exact. They feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it, then they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it, like everything that you witnessed isn't for certain or real, and you're just supposed to forget all your personal- That's on both sides, though. That is on both sides. Views that you have and theirs aren't exact, they feed you bullshit and expect- to tear apart and trash when the views that you have and theirs aren't exact. That right there is in a very true statement what he said. And it could be proven very easily. If I disagreed with something he said, you can look right in the comments and you will see exactly how people would react. If I said I didn't like something he said, they'll do this. Snack searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash when the views that you have and theirs aren't exact. Views that you have are theirs not exact. Like, yeah, it, it happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? You disagree with something that somebody say and exactly what he said happens. So, yeah, um, you get that on both sides. 100% because it has happened to me.
Looking for a snack, searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash when the views that you have and theirs aren't exact. They feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it, then they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it. Like everything that you witness isn't for certain or real, and you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences. Like We're all good. the money that you spent, you still have the shit you didn't really spend any of it. You just imagine it. All the uh -huh. cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen. It's just a figment of your imagination, and it's all gone. I mean, he said everything. I mean, those are all facts that he said. He ain't say nothing that, that is not, like, real. He sound like somebody who just walked in the grocery store and he seen the price of M&M's being $4 and said, you know what, I want to write something. <laughs> he said, this price hike is crazy. The inflation of everything is crazy. I can't get premium gas because I'll be paying... I, I, I'll be paying hell, hella money. You know what I'm saying? So, he just sound like, like a dude that's just tired of having, I mean, seriously, you go in the store right now and the you you are you will go broke. A hundred dollars to get you about eight items in the store now. I am not kidding. I mean, you seen the price of hamburger? Like, and like he said, I mean, you take a dollar off something and it's going down. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Um. But it has to keep going. This isn't for certain or real, and you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences. Like all the money that you spent, you still have the shit you didn't really spend any of it. You just imagine it. All the cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen. It's just a figment of your imagination. Yeah, he tired. And I'm tired too. I, I actually like what he's saying. I rock with what he's saying. And I love that he is coming straight for the administration that's that's um right in the middle of this stuff happening. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not sugarcoating it. That's what I don't like because you already know me. If you know me, I ain't no conservative at all. I am not no Trump supporter at all. But I'm also not no liberal. I voted for this dude, Joe Biden. Because I didn't like Trump, not because he was good. And I agree with everything he's saying about Joe Biden. That's what's crazy. See what I'm saying? There is no pick a side with me. I am straight for who is right and who is wrong. I think Trump is probably one of the most silliest people that we have ever had as a president. My personal opinion. But Joe Biden is so out of it in terms of we have we will never this is what we need to accept in my personal opinion we will never have a president that that is right for america every time you look there was a story about any president that we've had that has been terrible even obama you know what i'm saying i find out things about him you know what I'm saying? And I'm not like, you did what to people in cages? You had, you know what I'm saying? Like, you kept who in cages? Like, there's always a story. So we will never have a per perfect president. They're all trash in some way. So, um, no matter who the next president is, I completely expect for something to be terribly wrong too. So, um, but yeah, uh, I love this dude's message. He just can't, he comes off as a guy that said, I'm tired and I want to, I want to write a song about this inflation, this price hike. And it's all gone. To be continued. Yeah, I have no problem. With when we needed him the most, he returned. So he's been. Let me see. What do he do? What about us? 46 birthday bash. The six cents. Hot Megan the Stout. Oh, whoa. Let me warm up. Everything will be okay. Who is this kid? 
Well, he looked like a grown man right here. Uh oh, another political thing right here. Oh, I should jump right into this. What's this about? Hold on. I'm going right into something else. Fellow Americans, good morning. Certain dates echo throughout history. The January 6th insurrection. January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. The January 6th Capitol insurrection. January 6th. January 6th. January the 6th. January 6th. Including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. These clear acts of sedition and violence and terrorism. A violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Such an attack on our democracy. Violent attack to overthrow an election. The worst attacks in American history. If I can't have it my way, I'll burn the whole country down. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941. Where's she been at? I ain't been seeing her at all. Like, like you know, Michelle Obama was like right in our face. You know what I'm saying? Like working with like kids and stuff. What's she doing? September 11th, 2001. And January 6th, 2021. Newsflash. Nobody gives a fuck about it. We all admit that shit was pretty dumb, but that's about it. When we saw the news, we were shocked and we were kind of tense. Like, damn. Then we forgot about it by the 10th. Nobody's walking around stressing over. No, we didn't. No, nah, it, it, it was a fucked up situation. I'm going to tell you why we didn't forget about it. Number one, every time something was happening, they would cut off my TV shows with breaking news. So yeah, they wouldn't let us forget it, you know what I'm saying? But tense, like damn. Then we forgot about it by the tenth. Nobody's walking around stressing over Jan six. It happened and that was it. We haven't gave a damn since. It's all good when riots are kept in the hood, but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. That's fire, but it's a big difference. When riots are kept in the hood, but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets real. Now it's important to us. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal if you storm inside of the Capitol. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think, I think that it, it should be like a normal thing. You know, I'm, I mean, talking about like in terms of it should be treated like a normal, but it's just not. I mean... Especially when you got people outside saying, hang the vice president. I mean, ain't nobody that ain't, you know, that's no, 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 no. I mean, this is, this was people who thought and still do that something was rigged with no evidence. Apparently Trump hired his own people to look at this stuff. And it came back with nothing. I don't know. But I'm just saying like. Maybe I'm wrong. Send me something that states otherwise. But from the, the facts that I've looked up and seen. um, Even from the. What is it? The, the, the right wing. They was even like. Okay this is kind of crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so. And, you know, he got those certain, you know what I'm saying? I, I think you got Trump supporters, but then you do got those cult, those people who just like, if he say jump, they jump. You know what I'm saying? I was watching some of the interviews and I'm speaking. I'm like, y'all sound stupid as hell. What's wrong with y'all? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not back then in your woods. Now it's. It's all good when riots are kept in the hood, but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets. I always hate people who miss the point of stuff like a riot. Riots are terrible. Riots are terrible. You know what I'm saying? Um, but 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 know the reason why a riot has happened. Six. It ha 
happened and that was it we haven't gave a damn since it's all good when riots are kept in the hood but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your wood now it's a big deal now it gets real now it's important to us not back then in 2020 when stores were boarded up not back then when goods were looted and folks were brutalized not then but right now because it happened to the suit and ties huh. that shit's way above my head we were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead but people like nancy didn't flinch in fact they loved it then people will do what they do bitch ain't that what you said yep there's literally comp did she say that loved it then people will do what they do bitch ain't that what you said yep there's uh-uh she said that nancy pelosi i'm gonna just see if i can just find a quote people will do what they do I know she. What? Um, Madam Speaker, this question is close to home for you. Um, the city of Richmond is obviously in sync with your desire to get rid of Confederate statues, but in Baltimore and Little Italy, the statue of Christopher Columbus was removed or mm -hmm. taken down. And I wonder if you have anything to share about that. Well, I'm not a, a bit, you know, I, I don't even have my grandmother's earrings. I'm not a big, uh, let's see what we have in terms of monuments in this. I'm more interested in what people have accomplished. Uh, I think that it's up to the communities to decide what statues they want to see. But uh, uh, I think that it's what? very important that we take down any of the statues of people who committed treason against the United States of America as those statues exist in the Congress of the, the the halls of Congress, in the rotunda, uh, the not the rotunda, I don't think, but in wait, the, uh, but did they just tear it? Statuary hall and the rest, for most many, some of them are, uh, but um, I'm I'm not one of those people who's wedded to oh, a statue to somebody someplace is an important thing. Uh, I don't. Again, if the community doesn't want the statue there, the statue shouldn't be there. So did they tear it down, lady? I, that doesn't diminish my pride in my Italian-American heritage and the fact that uh, it was a country discovered by an Italian name for an Italian-American. Okay, country. come on, come on. Uh, so People will I do what they do. Pride, Where's that part at? Uh, but I don't care that much about statues. That's what I, okay, whoever just said that, that's what I was about to say. Like, that should be done by somebody for real. Respectfully, shouldn't that be done by a commission or the city council, not a mob in the middle of the night, throwing it into the harbor? People will do what they do. It, it, you sure did say that. <laughs> okay, I'll point towards this guy. She sure did say that. Fellow Americans. I like the fact check everything. Dude, bitch, ain't that... She showed it. Head. She we showed it. Shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead. But people like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. People will do what they do. Bitch, ain't that what you said? <laughs> she showed it. And we just heard it. We just heard it. People like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it. That Capitol riot thing was still stupid, though. That was really dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. If the what, what is it the the Black Lives Matter people you know they already had the damn uh, National Guard and all them down there they had to everybody had to call Trump and tell him like bro you need to go ahead and call this off you better hurry up and do something because they about to go in there you know what I'm saying and do some stuff you know what I'm saying like and shit up all ain't no way we would have got a foot inside that damn house White House <laughs> bop mm -mm. This happened to the suit and ties. But when goods were looted and folks were brutalized, not then, but right now, because it happened to the, the suit and tie. I hear you though. That shit's way above my head. We were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead. But people like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. People will do what they do. Bitch, ain't that what, what you, you said? said? Uh. There's literally compilation videos of you and all your colleagues inciting this kind of crap. So it's very fascinating to watch you swallow your words. You put your own foot in your mouth and now you're forced to dial it back. Mm -hmm. It's fine when you encourage it and my. Okay, you better call out hip Hypocrisy, okay. Your words, you put your own foot in your mouth, and now you're forced to dial it back. Mm -hmm. It's fine when you encourage it in my town, in his town, in her town, when the whole fucking city's being burnt down. You smile as you give the green light for mobs to rob shit, but as soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem. Got it. 
I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted. I would never dare. Yeah. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time. So don't expect us to care. I care. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I mean. I mean, now I would have stayed my black ass at home because I, I feel like <laughs> Ficka with me. But uh, <laughs> I mean. Watching it, it was it was it was crazy to look at, but he ain't. I mean, what what like? Don't what happened on that day? I'm glad he said it. I ain't gonna. Soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem. Got it. I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted. I would never dare. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time. So don't expect us to care. I care more about the store owner that's getting beat down in front of his shop just for trying to protect his place of business. He would probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing. Shit, you'd probably say good riddance. You'd walk right over me like I was a crack and you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid. If you did acknowledge Dang. me, you... That was nice. The crack and you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid if you did acknowledge me you probably nudge my body and go huh little fucker must have died of covid <laughs> you know it's true stop bluffing All right. they do absolutely nothing that is trusting kamala for you to compare this to pearl harbor and 9 11 is disrespectful and fucking disgusting Bitch. that's the most self-centered thing that i've ever seen compared yeah I, I, she said that yeah it's not it wasn't like no it was it was it was just completely like that has never happened. Like nobody has ever monkeyed their damn way onto a damn roof of a White House. Like that 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 was that was insane. Like pushing like police officers like I mean it was like what was that one police officer who was getting pretty much like chased up the steps like but he couldn't control like that has never like yeah like it, 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 it was getting intense and like a lot of them people I mean like I said before these people were ch chanting hang Mike Pence like there was like a noose out there don't give me no Antifa stuff you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I think these people just wanted to do what they wanted to do. They, I think they were just trying to send a message. But it was just like, what the hell? Like, huh? This look crazy. Like. Compared to those events, it's not even worth re That's the most self-centered thing that I've ever seen. That is wild. That's not, you don't. No, no I wouldn't compare that is disrespectful and fucking disgusting Bitch. that's the most self-centered thing that i've ever seen compared to those events it's not even worth remembering no one that i know is even still paying attention to it we'd all forget this shit in like a month if nobody mentioned it yep and you know it too uh -huh. you're gonna milk this thing and squeeze it till it's bone dry and it won't drip any juice while your stupid committee's wasting money convicting people from a year ago while cnn runs continuous loops yep. we would rather hear you address a million other issues we don't want to listen to you cry get a fucking tissue so many things could be dealt with in a gif, but you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit. I refuse Damn, to he going in, bull. At least he making it known. I don't, I don't fuck with Kamala or Joe Biden. He letting it be known. And other issues, we don't want to listen to you cry. Get a fucking tissue. So many things could be dealt with in a gif, but you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit. I refuse to show concern for a group of people that I have no respect for. I won't go there. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I know that ain't no damn, um... Or I won't go there. Mama. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. I like him. He seemed normal. Yeah, I'm back. You seem normal. He seems normal. Bruh. So, yeah, I mean, he kind of straightforward with how he feel. You know what I'm saying? I got different feels on, um, but I don't think he said anything like out of pocket. But I mean, it would be a, it is a difference between just the riots that you see 
and what the hell they did at Thank you. Because it was given like he was just trying to stay here. But yeah, it's it's a big difference between that and what they did on January 6th. It was just like, who, who the fuck does that? You know what I'm saying? You stood right there in front of the, the, the person who was the president and he was, and who was that other dude that was sweating ink? Uh, what's his name? What's that dude's name? Y'all know the dude. Oh, I forgot his name, but he was, he was sweating like ink or something like that off his head. Um, uh, Giuliani, he was standing in Giuliani was saying, um, he was like inciting it. Like you, it was like clearly like you go in there, but I'm just paraphrasing. You go in there you know what I'm saying? You stand your ground. Like what the hell are they supposed to do in there, bro? Like you can, some girl did that. She tried to climb through the window and got shot. That girl done lost her life for some shit she couldn't even control. Like, that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah. What he said about the Joe Biden them stuff and the Kamala that is true. And I looked at, I just looked at the Nancy Pelosi stuff up and he was goddamn right. I mean, so uh, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on my social media platforms. Everything is in the description to the video. Peace.